Darian about to insult Keisha. Listen, it's at this point it's time to fight. You disrespecting my my woman, you disrespecting her and shit. Like don't don't do that. <laughs> Welcome back to Nini's Planet. How are you guys doing? What's Gucci? What's Lady? What's Poppington? Welcome back to another episode of Love and Hip Hop Del So Valley. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and check out episode one. It will be listed in the description box down below. Today we are getting back into the households. I'm going to be showing you guys the remaining two households that we have left. We are in this new household right here. I really like this house and the people who are in it let's go ahead and introduce these people i shouldn't have got out of tab mode because that was a nice little flick but this girl right here her name is Brittany, and y'all see she iced out like she is like look look like don't play i'm going to get into their storylines in just a bit but let's go on to the next character so the next character that we got is seven seven is super pretty look at the melanin look at the oh yes come through okay next we got keisha who is in here watching tv y'all the melanin is, uh, the melanin is just popping out okay really popping out and then moving on to the men we got darian right here he fine and he fine like oh ain't he fine like look at but okay and then the next guy we have his name is kyron he is so cute he's giving me nerdy vibes but in a good way you know and then last but not least we have naji who is also in the intro he has great eyes okay he is giving me i will ruin your life and not give a fuck about it i don't know i think he my favorite it's probably the it's probably the great eyes look at him look at him okay so this household is basically full of couples these are three sets of couples in this house um let me show you who is with who oh okay y'all we got some beef we do Ooh, all so much going on wait wait i can't do nothing yet we got some beef in this household even though they all live together there has been some growing beef so let me explain that pause before anything goes on okay the couples in this household are Brittany and darian seven look okay i didn't even have to say nothing seven and kyron and Keisha and Najee. Okay, so those are the three couples in this household. And there is a little bit of tea. There's a little bit of tea. I think the most unproblematic couple is Seven and Kyron because they just mind their own business. They just do what they gotta do together. Like they don't really, you know, it's it's just it's just it, it is what it is. Okay. Brittany right here, she is with Darian, but she also has been messing around on the side with Najee, who is the boyfriend of Keisha that's coming up the steps right now. And Keisha caught them in the act and she wanted to fight them but that wasn't the case Keisha is soft okay <laughs> Keisha she's soft-hearted she really she's not a fighter or anything of that sort but she does love her man and she grown a vendetta against Brittany which is the opposite of what you should do you should really confront your man I mean the girl too because especially if she knew then you definitely should confront her which she did but it didn't turn out right because Brittany took her as a joke so they are beefing right now Darian actually knows about this and of course he has a little bit of beef with Najee he's cool with Keisha but it is awkward you know yeah that's what's going on so it's kind of like a love box <laughs> uh, no like a love triangle basically it's kind of like a love triangle so that's what's going on how are you getting huh girl what are you about to get hold on was homegirl about to get in bed with Najee but Keisha was just like hold on bitch that's my man don't do that wow Brittany you're messy for that you're so messy for that I have to do their sleep outfits but listen it's okay so I think everybody is about to go to sleep 
but I will explain all of their careers in the morning and things of that sort. Okay, you guys, so Najee is up, and I made him check his fame level. So he's actually a trendsetter. It says Najee Kush is the new face for a trend. Whatever Najee does, the crowd seems to follow. Fans of paparazzi will not approach her celebrity son whenever they are, I guess, around. Watch out for obsessed fans. They will do anything to get what they want from their idol, yikes. So Najee is actually an upcoming rapper. And we're actually gonna go to the studio today. Yeah, so Najee is an up and coming rapper, like a really popular up and coming rapper. Like basically he's one of those rappers that is famous in his city and stuff. So let's see what we could do with him. He is a trendsetter. So we could do like some interesting little things, like I guess more things with him. And I did see he could promote a song. Hopefully it's still there. No, it's not there no more. Damn, he missed out on that one. But yeah, Najee, I'm going to need you to go ahead and uh, write some song lyrics. You need to write your own songs. Like, we not about to be out here caught up with a ghost rapper, especially a ghost rapper, a ghost writer, especially as a rapper. That's not good. That's not a good look. Lyrics written, you can now record a song from the professional singing menu or the recording set object. Okay, yeah, we definitely going to the studio. We definitely going to hit up the studio today. Um, what is he feeling? Oh, 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 the glare. Ew, what are you eating? What the fuck are you eating? Chicken chimichurri skewers. What? What is he upset about? oh he is just angry right now and then y'all saw the meme mug that he gave like oh don't get caught up do not get caught up sir don't make me fight you look how he looking at him listen darian do you want to fight naji or something do you need to put your plate down and fight him oh oh he going up to him i didn't do anything oh i think they about to fight y'all they might be about to fight i don't know why are you in the bathroom with, uh, ooh, ooh, Keisha said don't talk to my nigga like that, period, Oh, oh shit, Darian about to insult Keisha, listen, it's, at this point, it's time to fight, you disrespecting my, my woman, you disrespecting her and shit, like, don't, don't do that, but you need to put some clothes on, like, you disrespecting my woman, oh no, 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 uh-uh, we need to, uh, go, go threaten him. No, 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 go ask Darren, you got a problem? You got a, you got a problem, my nigga? Like, what's going on? Najee, go confront that nigga. Really? Right as we trying to confront the, oh my god. Who? Who is in the fire? Please don't tell me somebody is on fire. Ain't nobody on fire. Who on fire? Nobody on fire, right? Oh shit, the grill! Brittany, I'm about to say, don't go near it. Just, yes, okay, I see y'all. I see y'all. Period. Period. Y'all better put that. Y'all better work as a team. Look at, look at Darian and Najee coming all late. Yes, Brittany. Seven came through. Keisha came through. Okay, seven, Keisha. Okay. Okay, we got $520. Damn, we didn't even get to argue. It's okay, we could still argue though. Okay, so Darian is furious now from say the word, from being asked about attitude. If this someone to fight, we can fight. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, Najee, Najee, he coming for your neck. Don't give him no smooth apology. Don't be no punk out here. Call him a bitch. Don't be no punk out here in these streets, especially in front of your girl. He calling him trash. Call him a little bitch. <laughs> oh, he upset now. Listen, I think they, I think he want to fight at this point. I think he might want to fight him. Oh, listen. Oh, you know what? Go, uh, shove him. Go ahead and shove Najee, Darian. Oh, we got a welcome wagon. We got to go meet her. But yeah, go shove him. Oh, 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 Najee not with the shits. Like, you just put your hands on me, my nigga. Uh-oh. It's a wrap, y'all. It's a wrap. I don't know who gonna win this fight, but somebody got to fight at this point. Somebody got to fight at this point. Hands have to be thrown. It's tension in this house. And it's over her. And she, <laughs> the fact that it's tension over Britney. 
And she is just over here clapping, enjoying all the madness. Like, girl, you is so messy. But I wonder who will win. Of course, Brittany is rooting for her man, Darian. It's Keisha being, like, nowhere to be found for me. Like, your nigga is over here fighting. Come over here. Come over here, Keisha. Your nigga is fighting. <gasps> oh, no. Najee beat his ass. Najee beat his ass, and that's not fair because he was the one doing all the cheating and shit. So, I feel like Keisha should just go ahead and scrap with Britney, too. Like, get they ones. Everybody should just get they ones at this point. So, go ahead and scrap. Look. Oh, my God. Britney, it, Britney messy. Messy as fuck. Darian's just like, you let me get my ass beat in front of this nigga, and you ain't do shit. You ain't grab that bottle. <laughs> he pissed the fuck off right now. Oh, maybe next time? Oh, no, Vanessa. How you gonna say maybe next time when you right here talking? Oh, Najee can't promote a song. Okay, we'll do that in a second. But, you guys, this is Vanessa. I redid her thingamabob and I gave her a makeover. Um, Seven is out here talking to her. Girl, you just impatient. Say hi to her. Introduce yourself to her. You just impatient. You ain't even want to wait. But what's up? Tell her an unbelievable story. Like, just chill and talk to her. Get to know her so that we, we can have her on our friends list. Now, back to this mess over here. Who is this? Oh, Keisha. I want to say, huh? No, girl, you need to fight her. I know you hungry. I'm going to fix your needs. It's okay. She hungry too. I got y'all. Brittany, you need to go ahead and get your one with Keisha because her man just beat your man up. So that means like you got to get your ones with her too, in my humble opinion. I'm kind of rooting for Keisha. Actually, I'm kind of rooting for Brittany. I'm rooting for Brittany because. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm rooting for Keisha. <laughs> No, I, I switched. I'm rooting for Keisha because Keisha don't deserve none of this. Like, she don't deserve none of this. She just got caught up in the mess because her nigga is a cheating ass motherfucker. And she got her ass beat because of him. So, she should go ahead and when she gets up, she could she should go ahead and argue with him. Argue with him about their relationship. Like, are you fucking serious? You pulled me into this mess because of your dumb shit that you did. And I just got my ass beat for no reason. So, Keisha, whenever you get up, go ahead and argue with your man. Fuck all that kissing, lovey-dovey shit. She still feel confident. Like, yes, I'm still that bad bitch. No scratches. We'll see. Period. Like, you just let me get my ass beat? Oh, Najee not trying to hit none of that. Najee, you ain't shit. But Keisha probably still gonna stay with him because she love him. And he get the best dick and stuff. Y'all know how that go. We're going to check back with them. Where is Seven? Is she still talking to Vanessa? Oh, Vanessa left? Damn, Vanessa left. Okay, that's fine then. She going to go chat with her man. Listen, look at how pro unproblematic they are. They are just everything. Like, let y'all should go ahead and just talk and just be cute to talk about inspiration and stuff. So, Seven is another celebrity in the household. She is actually a notable newcomer newcomer <laughs> a notable newcomer and she's actually an actress like she is a very small 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 actress oh now they flirting but yeah she's a very small actress so i want to see what she could do Ooh, facetime facetime with vanessa how does that go <gasps> ah yes talk to vanessa see what y'all can come up with maybe some plans or something she's also an actress so maybe she could hook you up with something but let me see what else that she could do practice your acting sis go ahead and practice your acting after you get off the phone with her and then how do we get like bookings we need to get some bookings um who won the argument she lost the argument and then Najee is over here feeling mad confident talking about something you thought now you over here looking dusty because you're trying to argue with a champ but you played yourself oh midget mac philly steak head philly steak fat head looking ass wow that's not right that's not right Keisha deserves better bro Keisha deserves better, but she's one of them stupid girls who just stays with the nigga because she in love. She don't care how he treats her. Britney's coming over here to talk to her. When can she get some acting gigs? I don't get it. Create a Instagram account, too. 
Maybe being on Instagram could help you or something. Can we take a selfie with uh Britney? Take a selfie with Britney. Aw, they so cute. Take a selfie with Britney. Post that shit. Yes, okay. That's that's okay. That's a nice picture, I guess. I don't really like the, the peace sign, but it's all good, I guess. <laughs> Najee, go and find Darian. We're going to see if we can start some drama and get some fame off of this shit. So, road to fame. Start drama with Darian. Go do that. He could get some clout off of that. Because we know Darian need clout. <clears throat> And also, speaking of Darian, let's get into his character. Darian is actually a very narcissistic, manipulative type of person. Same goes with Najee. They're narcissistic as fuck. Najee is giving me more misogynistic vibes, though. But they're both one and the same. I don't understand why they're not friends. I mean, of course I know. But he's like, I'm about to go make this nigga mad. I'm about to go get under his skin. And then before he go, I'm going to have him get some Punani from Keisha. And then he going to dip and go to the studio and record some music. So that's what we going to do. So go up in this bathroom. Talk your shit. Pop your shit. Oh, what is wrong with you, Darian? You are stressed. Ah, oh, don't be sad about him. What the f- Dip. Najee. I know you fucking lying. Like I said, start drama. I don't understand. Najee. Najee gets on my- Oh, wait. Oh, he tried to slap him. He thought, my nigga, do you want to get your ass beat again? Buck up on that nigga. Get buck. Oh, my God. No, not. No, he did. Oh, Darian said, I'm not no bitch. I may have got my ass beat, but that's just. Oh, oh, Najee, listen. Listen, don't break his hand. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for Darian because it's like, boy. Oh, what's this? Cry. Oh shit, they fighting. Oh, he beat his ass again, child. This this <laughs> He dazed cuz he got his ass beat. Oh my god. But anyway, where is Keisha? Keisha, I'm so sorry that Naji treats you like this, but listen. <laughs> he got to do what he got to do, okay? So, we're definitely going to hit up the studio. And then Najee knows how to, like, do production shit and things of that sort. So I think I'm going to have him go by himself. Or he could be messy and invite Brittany. I don't know. I think Brittany about to come down here. Is she coming down here? Oh, she might get... Oh, ooh, oh, oh, listen, Brittany might not be going nowhere. Never mind. I just hope nobody don't get pregnant because this is only episode two. What y'all doing? Are y'all about to do something in the pool? Not y'all about to do something in the pool. Oh, y'all not in the pool? In the bathroom? Meanwhile, Seven. Seven is just sitting here. We got to make time to go out and have fun with Vanessa. Hey. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa fine as hell, y'all. Kyron, get out of our conversation. This is a girl-on-girl -girl conversation. Leave us alone. But yeah, let's ask her to follow us on Simstagram. Seven might be giving clout chasing slash. Oh, Najee lost his penal virginity. Keisha lost her vaginal virginity. Oh, y'all better not. Somebody, y'all better not. Get, <laughs> Keisha better not get pregnant. I think Najee trying to trap her. Oh, Najee might try. Oh, ooh, Najee might be trying to trap her. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna feel real bad if she get pregnant. <laughs> Girl, you better not be pregnant, Keisha. I'ma feel so bad. I hope she ain't, but let's get her dressed. We're gonna have Keisha be the stupid girl. <laughs> and go ahead and tell Najee that she loves him and stuff. Tell her you love tell him you love him before he go. I've been told this before. I hope you mean it because I love you. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's have Najee go ahead and travel. Let's actually invite Brittany. All right, you guys. So we're here at the studio, nine o'clock at night. Y'all know late night studio sessions. Niggas invite you out and stuff. He is in here getting ready. Whoop de doop de doo. After he does all of that, we're gonna actually flirt with Brittany a little bit. Oh, yo, these two, they ain't shit. But um, let's attempt to seduce her and then we're gonna go upstairs and record a song. 
Who are these people? Why are y'all outside? Fans and paparazzi, lock door for them. They don't need to be in here. Anyway, let's come up here. Let's have Brittany come up here and play on the little thing with Bob right here. She can just say she's just messing with it and just watching. And Najee can come up here and record a song. Let's record uh, Hotter Than Sin. Okay. Okay, Najee. I see you. He like he over there singing his heart out. I don't know. Did he fall in love or something? <laughs> Their relationship level is mad high. Uh-oh. There's about to be a lot of tea in this household. But Brittany is just over here messing with the little thing. Like, she doesn't really know what she's doing. She's just here for support with Najee. Song recorded. Najee has finished recording the song. Najee will be able to upload it. Okay, bad. It's probably gonna be a little risky taking this out. I mean, we could always just take it and we could just like never post it, you know? Let's go and take a selfie with Brittany. Oh, okay, that's cute. That's cute. I mean, his do rag is covering her eye, but it's whatever. It's whatever. That's cute. So let's, um, oh, I like that one. Do that one. That's cute. We never post in that though because, you know, we cannot get caught up. But, uh, Najee obviously brought Brittany here for one thing and one thing only. So clearly, he just wants some of that booty. So obviously, that's why he brought her here. Oh no, Brittany. Oh! Oh my god, all right. Let me hide behind the tree. Okay, so they could stop. He just wanted a little quickie. Okay, so to make this less obvious, we are going. Oh, he told her good night. To make it less obvious, we're gonna have Brittany leave first so no one suspects anything because he is an upcoming rapper. People do know about his and Keisha's relationship, so you know we don't need no suspicions so we're gonna have her go first nobody knows who britney is luckily so it won't be too bad we're gonna have Najee go home and i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the final household okay you guys so we are in the final household and we have a set of twins this twin right here her name is diamond and as you can see she is dripped in diamonds and she is just so pretty she is actually the girl that was in that little clip in the intro of the first episode walking around with the coochie out because she really was she was that bold and then her twin sister over here her name is destiny and she is just so fly both of them are fly as hell i have no clue okay because <laughs> she looked a little white but they're both fly as hell they're super pretty diamond is a really really popular model on instagram and then destiny is aspiring to be a fashion designer photographer style influencer whatever you want to call it something in that industry so right now they're just taking a cute selfie okay this is cute because they twins we could do this one with my twin sister period giving me claremont twins vibes you know the vibes okay um it is 6 a.m and they really could just honestly go to sleep they don't really need to be up to be honest oh destiny your swimsuit is cute hold on everything about her is cute right here her swimsuit her hat did i do this did I give her all of this? She got lashes on and everything. I might have did this on accident purpose and didn't even know it. And oh, she got a gift. I got to check these gifts in this household inventory. We could start a meet and greet, but I kind of want her to go take some photos at the studio. We're going to actually go and travel at about 8 a.m. Um, Social networking share that image of you and your twin sister post that on uh, instagram um where destiny oh destiny why are you on the floor yo destiny fine destiny's so fine can we talk about this look at the tattoos the swimsuit the hat the what um it's eight o'clock so we are gonna go ahead and travel we're gonna take our sister with us too because it could give her some practice with the photo shoots celebrity level lost she spent too much time out the public I wow 
she's back to a level one are you serious oh my god okay but we're here at the modeling studio y'all we have to work with destiny oh my goodness no she lost her fame add to your instagram story let them know like you about to take some some pictures of your sister modeling and stuff like that so let's come up here take photo of diamond go do that sis we could just have destiny be the photographer for diamond like twin sisters work together make bring that money in together like that's real cute and then she could style her like oh my god that'd be that'd be dope that's dope as fuck i think we should do that y'all so let's see how these photos work i don't i don't know how this gonna work girl you could have chose some better poses than this but you know what that's what you wanted so we're gonna do like this set the backdrop to a brick wall Ooh, yes okay take another photo of diamond oh diamond got a photo sh another photo shoot coming up okay girl this is this is <sighs> all right um <laughs> we're just gonna take these photos much much later but honestly the girls don't really have any relationships with any of the other households they are new here so they don't know anybody but each other so we're definitely gonna have to go ahead and maybe throw a party at a club or something and hopefully uh the other households pop up but you guys i'm going to go ahead and end this video off right here i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys like the current households that we have so far of course as the lp goes on new people will be added and some people will probably be moving or taken away and different people will be in the intro and things of that sort if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that way you will miss a single episode in the near future again thank you to the coldest water for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye